Hello everyone, welcome to Good Code Academy. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you the difference between promises and observable. So many of us use promises and observable on day-to-day -day basis, but we still don't know the difference between promise and observable. So in this video, I'm going to uh, tell you the key difference between promise and observable, and I will give you all the surface level uh, information regarding this uh, promise and observable. So I have created uh, two code snippets where uh, first is a promise and second one is observable. Okay, let's just see it on browser whether those are working or not. Okay, the promise is getting called, OBS is getting called and it is also emitting the values like promise me and observe me. Okay, let's understand the code snippet. So here I have created promise with the help of new promise and I am uh, first I am printing the statement uh, which is for showing you one difference that I will tell you in a minute and then uh, this is the set timeout function which is resolving after one second and same code I have written for observable uh, this is statement uh, for the demonstration which I will tell you in a minute and then this is set timeout function uh, which is emitting this value after uh, one second okay and in this way uh, we traditionally uh, get the result promises like promise dot then and here we are printing that, uh, that value uh, same uh, is the case for the observable so here we need to make use of dot subscribe in order to uh, subscribe the emitted value okay so the first uh, difference is so observables are uh, observables lazily evaluate the value so I will tell you what I mean by that so let's say if I am uh, commenting this line of code so you will notice one thing so this console.log statement is there promise called OBS called uh, statement is also there but if you go on the uh, browser you will see only the promise uh, called statement is getting uh, printed on the console why because as soon as you define promise it can start emitting values but that is not the uh, case for observable so observable will start emitting value only if there is uh, dot subscribe is uh, dot subscribe method is there that means only if you are subscribing that value okay so that is a key notable difference so if you are have written observable but if you have not uh, subscribed to that observable then it won't uh, start emitting the value now you can see uh, both are uh, getting called promise called and obs called okay uh, let's then uncomment this statement again okay now the uh, next uh, key notable difference is so with the help of observable you can emit multiple values so let's just say here i will mention obs me one okay obs me one and then i will also mention two three four five okay uh, this much is enough and then you can here you can mention promise me and let's say it's a promise one and let's say here also till value 4 is enough just to show you the demonstration so what uh, you will notice is all the values which are in the observable all will get uh, printed all will be emitted but in the case of promise only the first result uh, will be emitted okay so here as you can see only promise me is getting resolved the first promise it's getting resolved but in the case of observable all the multiple values will be emitted so this is a key notable uh, difference between the observable now the third uh, difference would be like you can uh, add multiple operators on the observable so let's say if you just want to return this o obs me value right so you can apply the operators like you can apply after dot observable you can mention pipe here i will mention dot okay and here i will make use of one rxjs operator filter okay and 
here whatever condition that you need to give you can mention let's say if the if the race is equal to equal to is equal to equal to obs3 okay this statement we can delete so now what it will do it will only return obs3 right so this kind of uh, conditions we can uh, apply you can also use map to transform uh, the uh, immediate data and all but that you can't uh, do it on the promise so that is also uh, one of the uh, key difference now i will tell you the last difference between observable and promises so if you subscribe to observable you can unsubscribe it but for promise uh, that is not the case so now i will tell you how we can unsubscribe the observable so here we will need the subscriber for subscription of us so i will create one variable as uh, subscribe subscription and here i will uh, import subscription from rxjs okay and here let me mention this and then wherever you are subscribing that value right so here we are subscribing so i will assign that variable this dot subscription is equal to this value okay so now usually whenever you will uh, navigate from one page to another ng on destroy method gets called and over there you uh, do the unsubscription but here in this case for demonstration purpose i am creating one button and uh, based on that button click we will uh, unsubscribe that okay so here i have created the button i will call the method and unsubscribe me and here i will just mention this dot subscription dot unsubscribe okay now uh, what i will do is so let me remove the statements okay and instead of a set timeout what i will mention is set interval okay set interval now if you uh, go back to your browser so what you will uh, notice is so after uh, each and every uh, one second this value will be emitted okay so right now uh, let me check that this method is correct or not okay so see, uh, we will remove this pipe uh, thing from here and we will just mention observable dot uh, subscribe okay so now you would be able to uh, see those values right see obs me obs me is getting called okay after every one second okay so now if you don't add unsubscription and if you uh, navigate to different page that time also this will keep on running okay so in order to avoid memory leakages so we should be unsubscribing this values whenever inside the ng on destroy so that uh, this uh, so, uh, observable will be stopped okay but right now we are simulating that scenario since i have created the unsubscribe uh, button so if i click on now unsubscribe so now it will get stopped right so here you can see it is no longer uh, emitting those value so this is also one of the advantage of using the observable so here i have tried to uh, cover uh, a few differences like observables uh, will be uh, start will be start emitting uh, values only when uh, they are uh, subscribe subscribe uh, so that is one uh, first difference Uh, then uh, second uh, difference is observable can be unsubscribed but promises uh, cannot be uns unsubscribed the third uh, difference is promises will only return the uh, only return one result statement where in observable you can uh, emit multiple uh, values and in observable you can also use the Uh, different type of opt operators like in pipe you can uh, group filter map condition 
so those were the key differences between the uh, promises and observable uh, i hope you like it uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to it uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you